How's it going, Vince? Markel's TV here, the podcast, back with another video. And this is going to be real brief, so let me get into this. So I had someone ask about VA no-shows and do they affect you? So basically, they gave the example. They get an appointment. They don't go to the appointment. They're marked down as a no-show. Does that hurt the veteran over a sustained period of time? Absolutely, because when you set up an appointment and then you do a no-show, and let's say you have a consistent history of just never showing up to your appointments, when you will need an appointment and you wanna go, they're gonna push that appointment way out. Because if you notice in some situations when you talk to veterans, they'll say, man, I had the hardest time getting an appointment, but they never tell you that sometimes they never show up to their appointment, they never call, they never do anything, and so the model that they have for that individual says that they're probably not gonna show up. So they will schedule that appointment 45, 60 days out because they know you're probably just not gonna come. For people who consistently go to their appointment, you may call in, they say, okay, well, we got an appointment for you tomorrow. Or we got an appointment for you next week, okay? That is because they have consistently gone to their appointments. Now, let me say this. VA employees who screw up will always blame the veteran because it's much easier to blame someone with disabilities than it is for them to take personal responsibility for their own screw ups. Now, when you make an appointment sometimes, because this has happened to me, they'll make an appointment, say it's an appointment with psych, especially to, through uh, telehealth, they will screw this up. The way it's supposed to work with telehealth they're supposed to call you first to let you know your appointment is there. The doctor is supposed to send you an email for you to log in, boom, you have your session. What they don't do sometimes is call you. And then the doctor has such a full schedule, they may send the email, but nobody tells you that they sent the email. So unless you have an alert on your phone letting you know you have an email, sometimes you will never know you even got the email. And then sometimes that email would even go to spam instead of going to your primary box. So in situations like that, I always call and let them know, hey, I was sitting here waiting. Do not put me down as a no-show. You don't want to accumulate a bunch of no-shows with the VA because anytime you get ready to make an appointment, they just push it further and further out versus someone who goes and they goes to their appointment. They have a consistent history they get seen right away. So just wanted to emphasize that for people who didn't know how that works. Anytime you're inputted into the system, they look at your history of going to appointments. You have a good history, you can get in pretty quickly. Your history is poor or you're like borderline, they're gonna push it out farther. So that's why sometimes when you call to make an appointment, they tell you, oh, it may be three months before we get you in there. Well, think back, how many appointments did you miss or how many appointments did they screw up and then put you down as a no-show? Now, if you're wondering, how can I find out, you know, what is my history or what it looks like? You can go to My Healthy Vet, look up your previous appointments, and you can see all the ones that they canceled, all the ones that they marked for no-shows, all the ones that you attended, okay? But you don't want to get a large history of no-shows. That's not good for you. That's just going to push you further and further back because they do not expect you to go to your appointment. Okay. All right, guys. So hopefully this information was helpful to some of you guys out there who didn't know this. Other than that, guys, I am out. Peace.